Hi, my name is John Result and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we are going to be exploring the object inspector. So we are going to be looking at the properties and the events. So let's start by adding a button to this um, form as well as a label and an edit. Okay. So a label simply that displays text, an edit is used to type things, and a button is used to click on it and perform some things. So the, so the object inspector is used to um, change the way the component looks and works. So the properties tab here um, are used to change how the component looks, and the events tab are used to change how the component will react to certain events. So let's look, look at the button. When we, when we move the button around, then for instance, okay, that this this video will just explain in basic forms how the object object inspector works, and we will learn more things in future videos. Okay, so as we move the button around, you'll quickly quickly notice that uh, let's just find that the position changes. So this position x and y is the coordinates of the button. So as you change it. The button moves around. Guess now off the screen. But yeah, you get the point. Um, you just go here and say two hundred. Same goes for 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 the other components. Then we get, for instance, what else? I'm just going to show you show you guys some stuff in the object inspector. Such as you can change the text. The text is what is displayed upon the component. Such as, for instance, click me. Now that, now that the text is different on the component, you can also change the width to, for instance, 200 and the uh, height to 600, for instance. It's a bad example, but yeah. And. You can also change the font to, for instance, have um, that finer hand ITC bold and, for instance, 22. Now it says click me. Let's just make it 28. Okay. So let's give the, the form. Click, click on the form and give the forms fill dot color. Let's change the color to steel blue and the kind to solid and then the background color of the form changes because give the um, form a caption which i've already done this this is video six so if you compile which is f9 you'll see that the form's caption which is the text that stands in the title bar will now say this is video six and yes you can also give the button for instance um, a hint. So let's say um, I am a button. So when we hover over the button, it will um, display I am a button. As you can see. Uh, what else is there to look at? Um, we can, for instance, add this edit one into the button, and then we align the edit the edit one to top. We change the height. Then for the edit one, we can, for instance, give it a margin of, let's say, 20 at the top, 20 left, and 20 right. And let's change the font to 26. And we can add text prompt type something. Let's increase the move the label there so let's for instance let's compile now so this is now how it looks if we click here we can type something so this is because um we'll look more into detail what margins are and those kind of things i'm just showing you guys around so basically align the 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 edit to top and we added margins to it And then we also, 
What is that now? I did, I did, it takes prompt to it, which is text that stands there when we are not typing in it. We can for even, for instance, go and rotate a button. So we can say here, um, just find it. Rotate angle, and we can, for instance, make this um, 50. Now we have a rotated button. Okay. So you guys can go and play around with the properties and figure some cool stuff out. You can also change the cursor, how the cursor, cursor should look. For instance, there's plenty of different stuff you can do with it. So, yeah. Okay, let's go to the events. So the events are triggered when something is happening. So for instance, let's say we want this button to do something when we um, click on it. Then we'll do the on click event. So, here we can then, for instance, say... Okay, I've read, 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 read some code here. Let's just take this out. I was playing around earlier. Basically, when we um, want, want the button to write some code, we double click on the button. And then it will create this procedure for us. And here, we can write some code, such as show message. I am code. Let's compile. So when we now click on this button, then the button will call the on click event which will trigger this button one click method or procedure so let's click on this button as you can see um, you can also give it a custom name the procedure for instance um, clicked and then it automatically creates the clicked procedure for us and we can have the code here so for instance let's say you want uh, some code to run for instance, when you can we can do the on mouse enter. So when the mouse enters it or mouse down, when the mouse is clicked down, mouse leave, mouse move, uh, when when the button is resized, all these things can be triggered when or code can be run when it is triggered. So you can guys can also go play around with that. We will look into these things um, in more detail in future videos. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I just simply want to show you some of the object inspector things. You can also at the other top you can also search for things. Um, yeah, I haven't yet really used the search function, but I think I should start using this the search function here. So, yes. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If this video helped you in any way, then leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can go and check out my social media here on the left side of the screen, and you can go and follow me on my social media. Also, if you have any questions or any requests for a future, for a future video, you can leave those down in the comments, and I will check them out. So once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.